All right, and uh, we're in the uh, Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn. The easiest way to to find this it's Locust Avenue and uh, Vernal Vernal Avenue and, and Locust. Probably the easiest way to do this. A little bit of a, a mission trying to get, trying to find it, because. Uh, you know, you ask the uh, security guards, and uh, I don't really want to tell you because uh, it's a big place. But he's buried in the uh, the Locust Valley section, Locust Valley Mausoleum section of the cemetery. So look for Locust Valley and Vernal. And uh, you should be able to find your way. Actually, you can actually even walk it too. It's not that far away from the entrance. So, um, and part of the reason why I think a lot of them, security guards, didn't want to help uh, is because, uh, I don't know if the guy is not living anymore. Died so young. But, um, they came to vandalize, someone vandalized his grave. About a week ago, when I'm making this video, vandalize it where, in the sense of, they almost were trying to pull out the the casket. They um, you've seen the TMZ article, and there are other pictures of it, but um, it was. Vandalized, and they took out the the, the tomb and the, the front end of it. Uh, but I had his name on it. So now the family replaced the you know, actual headstone, but they have not engraved it yet. Actually, a security guard, I, I see his vehicle parked on the other side. So, uh, we don't know how long we'll be here. This won't be a, a long visit. Because, uh, geez, they were embarrassed and shamed. So there are no security cameras here. And they were embarrassed and shamed as to uh, how vandals uh, were able to come over here and dis disrupt the... Uh, find a resting spot see I don't even know what this is if you look uh, down here my finger is pointing see the little spots I don't know what happened there either but uh, right in front of the candle is the uh, the tomb of Pop Smoke. Uh, they have yet to uh, find the perpetrators. Still looking. There are actually some uh, some gummy worms, gummy bears, by the candle as well. That will be in a little bit more secluded area uh, than uh, the actual bottom. I don't think. Well, it's not that 
being high would make a difference anyway. It's still relatively low. But the grave will pop smoke uh, right in front with the blue candle. So you know, Pop uh, was just 20 years old now when he passed away. Uh, you know, straight out of Carson Brooklyn, which is where we are in the mural. Uh, Rose to Fame and had a release. A couple of singles, it says, Welcome to the Party, Dior. Um, he released a debut mixtape called Meet the Woo. Pop uh, just rose up quickly, was climbing up that ladder. Second mixtape, Meet the Moon 2, was released in February of 2020, uh, just a couple of days before he was murdered. Uh, it debuted at number 7 on the Billboard 200, and that became um, his first top 10 project uh, in the U.S. He had a debut studio album, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, and all 19 tracks from the album charted on the Billboard Hot 100. Just uh, a light that was stuffed out uh, way quickly. So what happened uh, is he was renting a home um, out in Hollywood Hills. And uh, the story goes at around 4.30, five men, including one wearing a ski mask, carrying a handgun, broke into the house. The LAPD received news of the home invasion. Uh, from a call from the East Coast. Uh, police arrived at home six minutes later and they, they found him with multiple wounds. He was rushed to the hospital, he was, uh, performed a correct omni on the left side of his chest. And basically, what that is, is uh, it's kind of a surgical procedure. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, into the, the, you know, to get into uh, uh, the space of the chest, you know, they needed to get to the heart, to the lungs, esophagus. Uh, you know, they're just trying to save him, and um, you know, a few hours later, he's pronounced dead. Guns out, wound to the torso. Uh, shot a couple of times. Um, investigators have believed that the house was a target for home invasion following a string of robberies that took place at homes rented by musicians, musicians right? Uh, the LAPD at first suggested that Jackson's home was gang related. Um, they later believed that it was a consequence of a home robbery uh, gone bad. The day before his murder, he and his friend, uh, Papa and his friend, had posted several Im images on social media. One of them was the home address in which, uh, that the English Pop uh, was staying. Uh, it could be seen in the background on, uh, I think it was an Instagram Live. He also posted a story on Instagram and Facebook of gifts that he had received. One showed the house's full address on the packaging, and that just gave out his uh, location of where he could be found. Uh, July of 2020, three adult men, two minors, were arrested uh, for the murder of him. Um, again, just, um, you know, what. Uh, Upon his death, many uh, he 
it, his work was already, even though it was so new, it was already being praised by his peers in the music industry. 50 Cent revealed that Smoke was always writing when 50 uh, said that on his telephone while. Um, you know, others you know, that have been in the industry felt like they've been, you know, when they talk to a pop that they, you know, uh, are, are talking to someone that was in the industry three or four or five years, and that obviously um, was not the case, right? So he already was a student of the game, was learning a lot. If you're interested in seeing the mural, uh, the mural uh, could be found uh, Flatlands Avenue. Um, I'm not sure if there are many other ones out yet. This one was, uh, it's actually what, 8125 flat, Flatlands Avenue, and you know, in proximity to the cemetery, it's um, not that far away, uh, relatively close to each other. There's something so innocent, and I don't know if you even realize that uh, the address was there. And, uh, live streaming on uh, social media. That's a damn shame. Damn shame. And like I mentioned in, earlier in that video, when we first went to the grave, just a week before, Rave was um, vandalized. <sighs> Some of the songs you know that he has out there. Uh, Welcome to the party. Uh, oh, you know, you know, relatively short songs, about two minutes, three minutes. Um, yeah, he, he was, he was rising, uh, he was rising, um, Mr. Jones was another one by Pop Smoke, you wonder, um, Moon Swings is another one. Some of the people who were addicted that uh, killed him and allegedly killed uh, Pop uh, as young as 15 years old. Now that's, that's, you know, very, very, very young. Say you know, when stuff like this happens. Um, I mean, just to think, um, the up and coming rapper was killed during a home invasion in the know, Hollywood Hills. Early you never know uh, when your life uh, is over. Suspects broke into the home, then shot the rapper. Police described getting the call this morning. Uh, the radio call was called in by someone from back east and stated a friend of theirs home was being broken into by multiple suspects and that one of them was armed with a handgun. When officers arrived there approximately six minutes later, they discovered a victim inside the house had been shot. Pop Smoke, whose real name is Bashar Jackson, was from Canarsie. The 20-year-old skyrocketed to fame last year with hits like Welcome to the Party and Dior.